Hello, this is Bino. I'm a certified arborist and a certified tree worker. What I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. What we're working on today are not midline knots that you would use in the tree worker exam. Today we're going to work on the clove hitch. Let's get to it. I've been an evaluator for ISA for about 20 years now and it always amazes me how people will fumble once you start the timer. Even on some of the easier known knots, that's why I'm doing these videos. So what we're gonna work on are a midline knot. It's a clove hitch. And it's same same thing. Um, you'll get, you'll go to the, where you're gonna be taking a test. You'll sign in, they're gonna put everybody in a bullpen, and then they're gonna call you, and they might call you to a knot station before you do the climb, or if you're gonna do the written exam. Um, they, they're going to call you, say, to a tree. They're going to um, give you all the options. So you'll start. The test is a, um, <clears throat> you have one minute to tie your knot, the one that you're going to do. And on the midline knot, you have two choices. You're going to have a clove hitch or an alpine butterfly for a midline knot. And remember, it's a midline knot, not at the end of the line. And so you'll, when you're tying the knot, you've got one minute. They'll give you, you know, you pick your choice. This time we're doing the clove hitch. It's a midline clove. And uh, they'll start the time you tie it. And when you're complete, you, you let them know that you're complete. So to tie a midline clove, what you will do is, you know, you get ready. The evaluator says to you, it's, it's time to go. Uh, so for the first example that I'll show you, I'll do two loops. So you'll get your line, you know, time starts, you make one loop, and then you make another loop, and you pass one in front of the other, and then you either have maybe a pole extension or maybe somebody's arm. You throw that over the arm, and now you have a clove hitch. Now you'll know it's correct when one portion of the line goes in this direction and one goes in that direction, and you have a cross that covers both of them. So that's one way of tying a midline clove. Here's another example of how to tie the clove hitch in another way. So what you'll do, you can grab, um, you got your midline here, so you'll pass one hand over to the right, or you know, to one side of you, and then you'll get your other hand. You keep your wrist straight. With your other hand, you cross over, and you keep your wrist straight, and you pass each other up. Once you pass, you throw one in front of the other, and now you have the clove hitch in the air. You throw an arm in there, or maybe a, 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 an extension. Let me go around, wrap it so you can see it. And that would be your midline clove. I'll do it once again, the both um, ways of tying it, and I'll do it slower and explain it. Um, just a little bit slower, just so if you're following along, we can get through it. So the first method I'll do are making two loops. You make one loop and then you make a second loop and the other one that you made secondly pass in front of the other. And now you have a, a clove hitch standing in the air. You put it around something and now you have one piece of rope going in that direction, one going in this direction and you have your cross. The next way that I'll show you is where you cross your arms and when you're doing this, so remember it's midline, when you're crossing your arms, you're going to remember to put one arm to one side of you. You're going to keep your wrist straight. Now you're going to cross over that, and that also your wrist will be straight. Both of your palms are facing downward. And now all you're going to do is just cross each other. Don't twist your wrist or anything. And once you pass, you just put one in front of the other. And now you have a clove hitch in the air, you'll throw your arm or maybe the extension, and there you have the clove hitch. Remember, one piece of rope coming out this way, one this way, and then you have the cross. Two ways of tying a clove hitch. Well, there you have it, a couple of different ways to tie the clove hitch. Remember, um, I mean, a good way to study this would be to, along with a video, and you, you wanna study it to where you have it just like it's super easy over and over sometimes i see people fumble when the timer goes on and and they'll actually tie it incorrect 
So you just want to make sure that you have it in your mind and, and you're studying it and it's simple, easy to tie. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you might want to check out our other videos on this topic for the tree worker exam. We've made a few of them in the past and we're going to continue a little bit longer. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our video. Take care. We'll see you next time.